Peter Fonda, once known as the more pleasant half of America's most treasonous sibling duo, has proven himself to be a pathetic little twerp. He spent the day calling for the targeting of ICE agents' children after insisting 12-year-old Baron Trump should be ripped from his mother's arms and placed into a cage with pedophiles. Well, now this low-life, washed-up Hollywood hypocrite, Peter Henry Fonda, is having second thoughts about his statements, most likely because some of Hollywood elitists more powerful than him made him issue an apology. Here it is. I tweeted something highly inappropriate and vulgar about the president and his family in response to the devastating images I was seeing on television. Like many Americans, I am very impassioned and distraught over the situation with children separated from their families at the border. But I went way too far. Distraught over the situation, devastating images he was seeing on television. Give me a break. I see images that upset me every day. I don't go off the handle calling for children to be raped. So let me ask you this, Peter Henry Fonda. Did you get distraught over this devastating image of Americans we were seeing on television? According to international law, these men are war criminals. That's according to law, according to the Nuremberg Principles, according to the Geneva Accord and others. They should be tried in front of a court and probably executed for what they did. Peter Henry Fonda, that's your sister, Jane Fonda, calling for American soldiers, American POWs, men defending your freedoms. Yes, that's your treasonous flesh and blood, Jane Fonda, calling for their executions while we were at war. I don't remember you being impassioned and distraught over that. Let's try another devastating image seen on television, Peter Fonda. I, I shed many tears in Vietnam. I cried every day in Vietnam. It was never for the Vietnamese. It's impossible to cry for the Vietnamese. They sing, they dance, they create. Well, well, I'll talk about that in a second. I didn't cry for the Vietnamese, I cried for the Americans. Because although the bombs are falling on Vietnam, it's an, an American tragedy. The tragedy is ours, and it's gonna take the American people many, many years to undo the damage and to wipe off the blight that has been put on our flag and our country by the likes of Mr. Nixon. She cries for America. She talks about our enemy, the enemy that was killing Americans like they're some pacifist, artistic community. This while our soldiers were being tortured. Tell me, Peter Fonda, did this image on TV make you distraught? Did you call for the targeting of anti-war movements, kids? Did you suggest children close to your sister be put in a cage with pedophiles? No, you didn't, because delusion runs in your family. It runs in your family's anti-American blood. Just as she looked at our enemy, the Viet Cong, as miraculous saints, you look at every illegal the same way. Some are, but many aren't. Many are gang members, rapists, murderers, sex traffickers that want to do us all harm. Just as the Viet Cong wanted nothing more than to put American soldiers in holes and keep them there for years. You and your sister prove time and time again that you don't love this country. You don't care about anyone but reporters holding microphones and cameras. Your apology is phony, most likely written for you. Today, you and your sister hate the men and women who put their lives at risk on our border every day. Seems to me there's one thing that makes the blood running through both your veins boil. Men and women who, without trying, without the name, without the fame, are easily more heroic than either of you.